Welcome, this is the Tea and Ready Math Practice Test for Grade 5. Question number 29. We're in subpart 3, so you can use calculator here. Find the sum. If sum is, of course, a math word that means addition. You don't really have to know that offhand, just because it has the addition symbol here or whatever. So we're going to add 1 and 1 fourth plus 5 six. So the first thing I need to do is turn them both into uh, either traditional fractions or improper fractions proper or improper. When I have 1 and 1 fourth, what I want to do is remember that 1, when I'm breaking things into fourths, so if I have this, this is one whole and it has 1, 2, 3, 4 fourths, so 4 fourths, and then I have an additional 1 fourth, which means I can rewrite 1 and 1 fourth as 5 fourths. Because if you don't remember, when you add fractions we need to have a common denominator and then we add the numerator so 4 plus 1 is 5 that's where all that comes from so now I'm going to erase all that and rewrite the statement as 5 fourths plus 5 sixths now again I can't add these directly because Ugh. I always think I'm going to hit that middle section. I never do. So this is sixth and this is fourth. So we don't have the same parts. We This is uh, this one-fourth is quite a bit bigger than this one-sixth. So we need to break it into smaller pieces. And of course all my stuff goes away. Here we are. We're back. Um, I didn't want to draw that one. Okay, so what we're going to do here is come up with, is there any number that we can find that we have a common denominator? So we want them to have the same size pieces, right? So there's a few ways that I can do it, and one of them is just to think, okay, what are the multiples? And multiples, of course, are when I'm 4 times 1, and then 4 times 2, and then 4 times 3. So let's make a list of multiples. 4 times 1, I don't know why I put an equal sign there. It should not be an equal, maybe an arrow or something. So it goes 4, 8... 12, 16. And we'll do 6. 6, 8. No, it's not 8. What am I thinking? 6, 12. I've been doing this too long. Um, and then 18. And then 24. Incidentally, if I kept this going, 20, 24. Now, I can, uh, there's a few options that I have here. They both have 24. So if I wanted to do 24 as the common denominator, I could. But since I know that 12, are he 12 is here and 12 is here, uh, then that's what I'm actually going to use. I'm going to use groups of 12 instead of groups of um, 24, just because it will reduce easier. Now, in order to get 4 to be 12, I needed to break it into 1, 2, 3 parts. So here, I'm going to multiply this by 3 to show that I, multiply, uh, I use 3 parts. So... times 3 gives me 12. But when I do something to the denominator, I have to do it to the numerator too, so 5 times 3 gives me 15. So I'm going to reimagine 5 fourths as 15 twelfths. I paused for a second to sort of draw a really bad looking twelfths. Uh, so there you go. And also this makes sense because 5 fourths is an improper fraction, this is still an improper fraction. Let's do the same thing with 5 sixths. 5 sixth. Now, six times one is six. Six times two is twelve, so times two here. I get twelve. And then five times two. Remember, if we do it to numerator, or denominator, we have to do it to numerator. Five times two is ten. So again, I'm going to reimagine this, and I can erase these yucky things, as fifteen twelfths plus ten twelfths. All right, so I can erase all this stuff down here. I don't know why I'm making you sit through that, but here we are. I'm making you sit through this. Anyway, so I do have a common denominator now, so I can just add numerators. Keep my 12, so I have 12. And then 15 plus 10 is, of course, 25. There's a couple ways I can go about doing this. 25 over 12, because it doesn't say anything about what's an acceptable answer. I can put 25 over 12 as soon as my pen stops being weird. I go. Try again. Take two. 25 <laughs> over 12. 
And that's all you have to do. You don't have to continue going. If you wanted to, you could think, okay, well, how many times does 25 go into 12? Well, the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, and 36. This is too much. So 1, 2. So 12 goes into it twice. And times 2 is 24. So I have two whole 12 over 12s in there. And then I have 1 12th left over because 25 minus 24 is, of course, 1. So 1 12th. However you want to do it is fine, but you don't need to do it any further than this. This is one of those questions we'll accept quote-unquote equivalent answers, which means anything that equals the same amount. So this is an appropriate answer that you could give. Incidentally, if you did 24ths, because you wanted, that made more sense to you. Like you, instead of breaking it into 12 parts, you wanted to break it into 24. You could leave it in 24 because it does not say specifically that you have to have it simplified or in simplest form. You can leave it like this.